This lesson is about finding vertical asymptotes. Asymptotes occur because a graph approaches a line but never completely reaches that line. Now this occurs on a vertical graph many times because uh, we attempt to put a number in for x in the denominator of a rational equation and when we attempt to do that that number would cause the denominator to equal zero which would of course create a, sit a situation uh, that's undefined because we would attempt to divide by zero. Uh, because of this, finding vertical asymptotes is actually a rather easy process. Uh, if we take an equation such as y equals x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 1, then what we would be attempting to do is find the place where substituting something in for this x right here would create a zero in the denominator. So to find that vertical asymptote, the simplest way to do it uh, would be simply to uh, set the denominator itself equal to zero. So we're going to do that down here in a separate problem and just set up 2x minus 1 equals zero. And then we just solve this. Obviously it's a simple linear equation uh, where we will add one to each side and then divide both sides by two and x would equal one half. And what that tells us is that there's a vertical line at one half that if we were to graph this equation right here, then that vertical line would be the place where the graph approaches but never quite reaches. If we were to put this equation into a graphing calculator and graph it, uh, we would see that vertical line. And also if we were to look at a table of values, we would discover that at x equals one half we would see an error in the table uh, because it would indicate that we tried to do division by zero and could not do that. Let's take a look at another problem like this. We'll clear this one off. Now let's look at y equals 2x minus 6 over 3x plus 9. And again if we're trying to identify our vertical asymptote then we're simply going to set the denominator 3x plus 9 equal to 0 and solve this equation as usual. This is another linear equation so we would move the positive 9 over make it negative divide both sides by 3 and then x would be equal to negative 3. So our vertical asymptote, our vertical line would occur at x equals negative 3 this time. Let's look at one that might be a little more complex. This time I'm going to put y equals 3x plus 7 divided by 9x squared minus 4. So again, we want to find the vertical asymptote. All we have to do is set the denominator equal to 0. But we discover this time we don't have a linear equation because of the square up here we have a quadratic equation. Now this quadratic equation can be solved very easily by factoring because I see that this quadratic equation makes up the difference of two perfect squares. So I'm going to factor it and that would be 3x the square root of 9x squared and the square root of 4 is 2 and then because it's the difference in perfect squares we put a plus here and a minus here. If you need to review this, uh, this method of factoring the difference in two squares, now there's a previous lesson on that that can be found. And now once I have found 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2, in order to find the actual solution to this, I just set each factor individually equal to 0. So 3x plus 2 equals 0, and I solved that one. We move the 2 over, it becomes negative 2. And x, in this case, would be negative 2 thirds. But we have a second vertical asymptote, the second factor. So we set it equal to 0 also. 3x minus 2 equals 0. Solve it. 3x, move the 2 over, is equal to 2. Running out of room a little bit here. And x, then, when we divide by 3, is equal to positive two-thirds. Therefore, 
we have two vertical asymptotes in this problem. We have a vertical asymptote that occurs at uh, x equals two-thirds right here, and we have a vertical asymptote that occurs at x equals negative two-thirds. So there are actually two vertical asymptotes in this problem uh, because of the quadratic in the denominator. Let me clear this and we'll try one more like that. This time I'm going to write I'm going to write y, y equals 4x divided by x squared minus 5x plus 6. A little bit more complicated denominator, but it doesn't change the rules and how we approach finding the vertical asymptote. To find the vertical asymptote, we simply set the denominator equal to 0. x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. This is another quadratic because of the square, so we need to solve it like a quadratic, and this one can be solved by factoring. This is a trinomial with a lead coefficient of 1. So I can put an x here and an x here, and I ask myself, what do I multiply together to get 6 and add together to get 5? Well, that would be 3 and 2. And because of the plus sign here, uh, that means that both signs are the same, and this sign right here tells me they are both negative. So there are my two factors. And in order to get solutions, I simply set each factor equal to 0. x minus 3 equals 0. And x minus 2 equals 0. And when I move the 3 over, it becomes positive, so x equals 3. And when I move this negative 2 over, it becomes positive, and x is equal to 2. So my two vertical asymptotes will occur in this equation at x equals 3 and x equals 2. Again, if you were to put that in a graphing calculator, you could see that uh, by looking at the graph, and you would notice a vertical line right there. Uh, and also, if you looked at the table of values, you would notice that where x was equal to 3 and x was equal to 2, that an error would occur uh, for the y value, uh, because we would again attempt to divide by 0, uh, which would create an illegal operation uh, in your calculator. So finding a vertical asymptote is simply a matter of setting the denominator equal to 0 and solving, and the solution then will tell you where the vertical asymptotes will occur uh, in that particular equation.